Hello YouTube. So is your computer running slow? Here's what I do to fix those problems. Okay, first you're going to check for malware and viruses. And what we're going to use, we're going to use Malwarebytes to do that. So we're going to go to Malwarebytes website. And that is, uh, I just use the Google Malwarebytes, but you can just go straight to Malwarebytes.com. And I'm going to choose Malwarebytes for Windows because I'm using a Windows machine. Free download. A download should start automatically. You can see down here. Go ahead and click that link. We're going to uh, allow that app to make changes to our device. In other words, we're going to install it. Just click on the install button. Uh, do not allow it to install any of this garbage that it wants to bring down with it. So I'm going to skip that. Now Malwarebytes is going to try to replace whatever current antivirus you have going. But we're not going to worry about that because as soon as we're done using Malwarebytes, we're going to uninstall it. Okay, here it is. It started us out at the premium with the premium trial. We're just going to hit scan. Let this guy run the scan. See if he finds anything. Okay, it's finished. Uh, in this instance, it didn't find anything. But I'll throw up a little clip of what you do when it does find something. did find a one malware item. Just go ahead and let it quarantine that item. And then you can say done. Okay, so in this instance, we're going to click done. Go ahead and close this guy out. Uh, and let's just go ahead and uninstall him. So we'll go to our settings, apps. Search for malware bytes. There it is. Click uninstall. Uninstall. Allow it to uninstall. We're sorry to see you go. Remove all, yes, remove all components. <clears throat> no, we don't care about your survey. Okay, the next step, we're going to click on the start button and type C as in Charlie, M, D for command prompt. Right click on command prompt, run as administrator. Yes, we want to allow this app to make changes to our device. Okay, there's malware bytes is finished. We're going to okay that. Okay, what we're going to do here is scan our system for any corrupted files. And that command is SFC slash forward slash scan now. Go ahead and let that run. And that may take a while depending on how corrupt your system is or how fast your system is. Okay, that's finished. Uh, in this instance, it did not find any integrity violations, but if it did, it will prompt you, or it should prompt you, to repair them, and go ahead and allow it to repair them. Okay, next we're going to defrag our non-SSD hard drives, if you have any. So we're going to hold down the Windows key and tap R, and here we're going to type D-F-R-G-U-I, defrag GUI. Okay, now we see that our C drive is a solid state drive, so we don't want to we don't want to defrag that for fear of damaging the drive. This computer does have another drive in it. It's actually a mirrored pair, and we can go ahead and defrag those drives. And so you would just hit analyze and wait for that to complete and then hit optimize and wait for that to complete. All right, guys, this is what I do to fix a slow computer. Now, if this doesn't fix it, you could have deeper issues, so go ahead and give your computer guy a call and let him go ahead and, and check and see if there's something else going on, like you may have some bad sectors on your hard drive or something of that nature. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.